In Hollywood, he's known as Rocket Man. Between sending rockets into space, crafting rocket-powered vehicles, and assisting stuntmen on movie sets, Minnesota native Kai Michelson launched into the spotlight. Through the years, I've, uh, I've worked in over 200 uh, movies, television shows, uh, I hold 72 state, national, and international speed records. I'm the first civilian in the world to uh, get licensed by the federal government, and we put two rockets into space. I formed that team and put together a, a number of people that uh, were able to do things that nobody else ever did. We are the very first civilians to put a rock in the space, and I think that's pretty cool. Growing up, Kai struggled in school, facing difficulties with reading and math that were later attributed to dyslexia. Well, I had really a tough time at school. Uh, the teachers couldn't teach me, uh, uh, you know, they'd, they'd say something to me five, six times and I couldn't repeat it. And consequently, because of that, I had major problems at school. However, his father had introduced him to electronics, which sparked his interest and allowed him to excel in hands-on projects that he would often take to school to show off what he could do. And she grabs his book and it was hooked to a wire. She said, what is this? What is this? And it opened up. And I says, please, Mrs. Becker, don't take that from me. It's a radio. She says, well, where'd you get this? Where'd you get this from? I says, I built it. You built that radio? I built that radio. She could not believe it. I said, yeah, I soldered in all the dials, all the coils. You did that? And she couldn't imagine that I was capable of doing that. Well, that was the first real positive thing I got out of anybody when I went to school. That was my start uh, of, of building things. And I've got, I found out by getting attention to something, you get credits for that. And it just it put a new deal. But nevertheless, I still, I dropped out of school, ninth grade, just struggled through school. I could not figure out what it was. Despite not finding out until he was 30 that he had dyslexia, Kai's determination and ingenuity propelled him to success. Well, I uh, started out racing when I was very young. Consequently, I got to, you know, I started racing early. Well, that started from motorcycles, then I went into dragsters, five different dragsters, and top gas and top fuel. And then uh, I ended up putting a, I, I found out that these racers were, uh, that could do exhibition racing with jet powered cars. At that time, I took the reciprocating motor out of my car and built a rocket motor and put a rocket motor in and came off to uh, Twin City Speedway, went off to there in Minnesota Dragways, Union Grove, and every track that we went, we set a record. During a chance encounter while on tour in California, Kai's life took a pivotal turn. While renting a space in a race car shop, he crossed paths with destiny, setting the stage for a remarkable journey ahead. And a stunt guy came in there to get a piece of equipment welded. And it was a, a catapult for throwing you up in the air. And he says, can you fix this for me? And I says, who built this piece of junk for you? He says, what do you mean piece of junk? I says, you should all use all aerospace hardware. And he says, like what? And I said, he says, well, can you build me one? Well, now all of a sudden I'm building stunt equipment. From there, I ended up on movie sets. I got an explosive license so I could do special effects. Now I'm doing stunt work and I'm doing stunt coordinating. Kai's Minnesota home is filled with hundreds of his personal inventions. Some that were used on movie sets with stuntman Dar Robinson and Kitty O'Neill, the famous deaf stunt woman who was an inspiration all on her own. And then there's some that he built just to say that he could. This is a um, hydrogen peroxide uh, rocket belt that you could actually fly with. There's like two, three of these uh, in the country that are still operational. This is a robot, I built a robot many years ago. This is uh, Buddy's rocket-powered trike and my uh, rocket-powered wheelchair. And one of my favorite things, the SS Flusher, America's secret weapon, is a rocket-powered toilet and it runs on nitrous oxide and plastic. It's a pretty interesting uh, piece of equipment. But it's one of the fun things that I built uh, over the years. Um, this red and yellow car back in here is rocket powered. Kitty O'Neill went 412 miles an hour in 3.22 seconds. This is the world's fastest quarter mile car. And this is uh, the evil spirit. This is the, the backup one for when Eddie Brown jumps over the Snake River. This is a beer powered motorcycle. And this is a jet powered go-kart. Go it's got three jet engines in it, and they fire 100 times per second, so this thing fires 300 times per second. A jet-powered coffee maker. I just like to build a lot of weird things. 
Today, Kai works with his son, Buddy, manufacturing parachutes, building beer-powered motorcycles, and any other bright idea they get in their head. You know, I, I look at this uh, being dyslexic as a, a blessing in disguise because, I, you know, one side of my brain may not be too sharp, but the other side, I'm a pretty smart guy, I think. <laughs> mechanically, at least, I have, I would call a mechanically, uh, a mechanically a photographic memory, like uh, where I can, uh, uh, I register hardware in my head. And so when I'm building something, I basically have already seen where I've started building. I mean, before I'm done, I know exactly. And you'll never see any blueprints around here. And you can, you, there's no drawings, no blueprints. It's all right out of my head. Everything in this place is right out of my head. One thing's clear, the sky's not the limit for Kai Michelson. For A World of Difference, I'm Cindy Peterson.